Hey, last night, it was pretty late actually, uh, Governor DeSantis signed a veto, this is a veto letter, um, that he signed in relation to car insurance. And you know, a lot of these things happen in Tallahassee and we don't pay a lot of attention to them, but they do affect your, your lives. And here's how this veto letter affects your life. So the state legislature had passed a repeal of the current law in Florida, which by the way is only followed in two other states. So three states out of 50 in this country follow what's called this no fault model, PIP, the PIP statute model. And basically that says after a car wreck, um, you, you're entitled to $10,000 from your own policy. And uh, the, the significant part for purposes of community safety is that it doesn't require any driver to carry insurance for another person's injuries. It only requires they carry insurance for their own injury. So the most irresponsible person on the road, which usually causes the worst kind of damage in these situations um, with our clients, is not required in Florida to carry any insurance for other people. So uh, some, for instance, if somebody runs a red light and they hurt or kill uh, somebody who is not running the red light, who is driving the speed limit and doing everything correctly, that death or injury case may not be worth any money at all because the person that ran the red light is only required to have, currently, only required to have $10,000 of PIP coverage for their own injuries and zero for the other driver. What was on the table that Governor DeSantis rejected last night was a proposal like Alabama and Georgia and other states around us where every driver is required to have at least $25,000 of coverage for the other driver. Well, he vetoed it and you know, his basis in here is that it's not, it wasn't clear that it was gonna be helpful to the citizens of Florida, but in actuality, what, what's happened here is there's a lot of people that are interested in that 10 grand. Uh, for instance, since there's not a lot of fight over that 10 grand after a wreck, that 10 grand usually goes to emergency rooms, urgent care centers, chiropractors, and those entities like that $10,000. And unfortunately for many of our clients, that leaves them without recourse uh, against the other driver. Uh, for instance, in Alabama, every driver to be legal has to have $25,000 of coverage for another per the other person's injury. So if they're negligent and they cause a wreck and they, uh, the wreck causes a death or an injury, there's at least $25,000 for the other party. In Florida, we have to explain to clients sometimes, look, it's legal for them not to have any insurance for your injuries. All they have to have is the $10,000 for their own injuries. Anyway, that went all the way through the legislature and got to Governor DeSantis' desk and he rejected it with his veto letter. If you disagree with it, I would urge you to contact your state uh, uh, representative, uh, state senator, and let them know that you feel like this veto was wrong and that our state should be like the 47 other states in the country that require at least some kind of minimal limits for everybody to drive. Uh, because unfortunately, a lot of these careless drivers happen to be the same people that get the, get the, just the legal insurance and don't have any coverage for the other driver. So uh, if you have any questions about no-fault coverage or car wrecks or this veto, you can find us on the web at zarzalaw.com or you can call us at 855-HIRE-JOE. Thank you.